So in this demonstration, we have a little page here where we can click on employees to select them. And over here, we're going to add one of our fragments, which is called calculated um, calculation fragment. You can see it over here under our fragment section. We can drag and drop it over here. Now, the fragment itself accepts a, an employee ID parameter. The default is two, but we want to bind it to our selected AMP from the list over here. So now when we click on different employees, we would expect the data over here to change. And um, so what happens here is we do pass in the new value, but the value that is being passed in doesn't actually invoke any event in the fragment to tell it to refresh. So to do that, we're going to take in the fragment. Okay, so we'll open the fragment over here. We have the variables that we pass in, the employee ID. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to define an event on it. So we'll add an event and we can point it to an existing action chain or just create a new one. So input changed event, for example. And in the input change event, we can do something. Um, for example, we can fire a notification. Um, so for example, we can say uh, amp ID changed and put in here the new amp ID that we got. We'll put this as a transient information message. And then we can, for example, call an action chain. So our action chain would be the one that actually calculates the salary, okay, the raise. So now that we have this event in the fragment, if we go back to the containing page and we start selecting employees, you see that the value changes. So, okay, over here and over here, and we got the messages. So this is how you can create a situation where the containing page updates the fragment and tells it what to do.